Now, it's not like I'm trying to get rid of my kids. I love my babies. I love them more than anything in the world. But sometimes, Daddy and I just need some time to ourselves. What's up, Perfectly Blended family, and welcome back to another video. I'm Chantel, and guys, listen. Do you guys hear that? We're kid free! But before we get into this exciting video, guys, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so when we Drop a new video, you're alerted. All right, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, so it's been a strange few weeks because the kids had to go back to virtual learning. Then when they were supposed to go back to school this past Monday, they were home because we had a major snowstorm that shut down our city. So they went back to school for two days. Wednesday and Thursday, and then Friday was a PA day. I'm like, what? Now, it's not like I'm trying to get rid of my kids. I love my babies, I love them more than anything in the world. But sometimes, Daddy and I just need some time to ourselves. Guys, my mom took all three kids Thursday night because my brother is down. He lives out west, like Niagara Falls area. It's about, I wanna say two and a half hours or maybe just two hours away from where we are. So my mom's like, well, their little cousin's coming over and she's just gonna be here by herself so the kids can come spend a night. So I wasn't even gonna vlog it. I'm like, Greg, should we vlog it? Like, oh, there's going for a night, they'll be back, whatever. We'll just do an activity and spend time with the kids because they'll be back on Friday and we'll just have some fun. But no, no, my mom called me and she's like, oh no, their cousin is gonna be staying for the week. So what are we gonna do? Can I just keep the kids? I'm like. Can you keep the kids? Can you keep the kids? Yes, you can keep the kids, absolutely. So the kids haven't gone since Thursday. Usually Jasmine doesn't do well with sleepovers. She gets homesick, but she's having the time of her life. And I think it's because they've been like locked in for like the last month, guys. But anyways, so the kids are at my mom's and it's just me and daddy here and yeah, it's like, what do we do? The last time we've had them away from us for this length of time is when Greg and I went to Niagara Falls for the weekend. Sometimes I forget what it's like not having children. What are we gonna do tonight since we have the house to ourselves? All right, so Greg has been downstairs for the last, I don't know how long, I'm gonna say over an hour. Like since the kids haven't been here, Greg has been quite impulsive. So he actually went out and bought a printer. <laughs> I'm just joking. But he did go out and buy a printer. And it's a lovely printer. We were so in need of a new printer and he's been down there fiddling with the thing, looking at ink and all sorts. So let's go find out where he's at with the printer. All right guys, let's go. All right guys, let's go see Mr. Greg and what he's doing. Hey babe. You done with the printer? Well, I'm done with the printer. <laughs> Did you get it to work? No. What? Okay. All right. First, let me show the family the new printer. You gonna show them the old printer? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, old old printer. printer. We've had this bad boy for years. Daddy decided today's the day. No kids. We're gonna celebrate. Celebrate with a new printer. Yes. Daddy brought home this bad boy. What? Yeah, yes. All right, guys, it's supposed to do everything. Fax, print, photocopy, print double-sided, um, Bluetooth. So from anybody's phone, we can hook it up to the printer and it can print. And that's so yeah. awesome. Every computer in the house. So you don't understand how old the previous one was. You had to have a USB connection to a computer so 
you either had to bring your computer and connect it or transfer your stuff so you could get it on the computer that's generally hooked up, whatever. It's wireless. That was the idea. Everybody can connect, make it easy. Right. Um, the other thing is the cost of ink. You can get all five cartridges in this one for the cost of one in the old one. Super convenient for as much as we go through. That's so, awesome, babe. Right. <laughs> so why aren't we using it? Good question. Okay. So here's what's happened. Here we go. Gosh. These are the cartridges, the individual cartridges. On the end of these cartridges should be a tab that locks them into place in the tray. Might actually have one of the tabs kicking around still. Is that it? Yeah. So this little piece was connected on here like so. They came broken off in the box. So the ink cartridge will not click into place. Now the printer will not work unless all cartridges are locked in there. All five? All five. Okay. What I like about the old printer is it didn't matter how many cartridges were in the printer, it will work. You can take them all out, you can put one in, two in. I think the max, they only had like three. What are you talking about? The old printer. In it order only for... has two slots. Was it two? Okay, yeah, so... it's just black in color. Okay, even if I put a black cartridge in it, it will and still no work. no color one. No color one, it will still work. Are you sure? Absolutely sure. I I've had this... No. Okay, so that's a flaw in the be, new one. I, my understanding was it could be empty, but it had to be in there. Okay, but it won't work because it, it'll say. He's making me missing. think yeah. now. That's right. It could be empty, and that same with this one. It could be empty, and it would tell you it's empty, but it had to be in there to like complete the circle. Uh, okay, missing. he's making me think now. Now I can't remember, but I remember only buying black at one point in time. And I remember only buying colored ink right. at one point in time. I remember putting just one in, or maybe the other was empty. So, guys, I don't Absolutely. remember. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Okay. So, anyways, the option is, you know what? These are just like trial cartridges, so they really have low level of ink, and you have to purchase new ink anyway. So, I'm like, you know what? The other hassle would be packing the whole thing up, taking it all back to the store to get a new box just to get the new trial cartridges. Yeah. Or like would I have them open it in the store? Just guys, I'm not gonna go home until I know that all five cartridges are intact. Yeah. Um, it just seemed like too much of a hassle. Now, the reason I went and got it today is because in addition to having to print the stuff for Jasmine during the week, yes. and we were printing on the old printer and we're like reluctant to replace the ink. We're like, oh, we're just gonna get a new printer. So it's like printing, it's down to like faint pink <laughs> is what it's printing. Yeah, right? we've been just like <laughs> using all the ink, like just milking it for what it's got, what it has left in it. Yeah. You're right. So it's like a pinkish reddish ink. It's like, you know, when it gets to that pink reddish ink <laughs> on paper, it's done. Like you need to replace your ink, but we've been milking it for everything that's in right. there. <laughs> so I have a client in tomorrow. There's some stuff I wanted to print off. I'm like, you know what? I'm not printing in pink. It's got to be like professional. I'll just get the printer, get this done we've just been putting it off too long so now tomorrow is sunday i'm not gonna be able to print it again for him oh i'll have to wait till monday i don't see him again till wednesday after that i'll just have to like email but it's not what it wasn't the ideal yeah anyways anyways so we're gonna get the ink cartridges monday should be able to set it all up then today i emailed canon just to let them know what happened mm -hmm. so now it's sort of balls in their court i'm curious to see how they handle that situation like it's just kind of disappointing with the inconvenience either way i'm not gonna um say anything about the printer yet because we haven't used it okay um it's just the inconvenience of not being able to use something you just purchased when it's set up that you should be able to right and what it looks like is the way the cartridges are allowed to slide around in the box and there's parts that they can get snagged on yeah it's just sort of a poor design for shipping. Anyway, I don't know. That's in the email. I explained what happened. This is what it is. I'm not happy with the inconvenience. A little disappointed. <sighs> Anything you can do to help us out here? You know what? Everything happens for a reason. So, so yeah, this is in every time that we've had something like this and I've just sort of shouted out like, hey guys, this kind of happened. Yeah, is we benefited. 
every time it's been worth it in the end yeah, yeah. it's like just politely letting them know not complaining not like getting angry about exactly. it exactly so i'm curious to see how this one plays out yeah always so think positive we will man. it's gonna be worth it in the end what yeah. happens with canon once they email us back a response yeah all right so babe there's no kids they've been gone for like what two nights so weird yeah greg's actually missing them but every time i call it's just you hear the noise in the background <laughs> This is my mom. I'm okay. I'm okay, but um, <laughs> they broke up the charger from my iPad, and there's always something going on, and I just know how loud my kids can get, because yeah, they're kids, but I am so grateful for the peace and the quiet, and I can be with my thoughts and be with Greg. It's it's weird because Greg misses them. Yeah, I kind of I want to like check on them. Yeah. Because you know if you're, they're your home and they're home and they might be in a different room or something. You just go check, see how they're doing. Yeah. And so I get that sort of, like, oh, I should check and realize they're not here. So it makes me want to follow up. How are they doing at your mom's house? So then you tell me that story. I'm like, okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad <laughs> they're, he's bad night. They're over there making that much noise. Anyways, babe. Yep. Like my sweater? Yeah, why are you wearing that? Because you never wear it. Because I want it to stay crisp. Anyways, I'll keep your crisp. Don't worry. No. It's, so, okay. So I'm wearing Greg's sweater. And some of the ladies out there, you guys know how it feels to wear a men's sweater. It's just so comfy, especially Greg's sweaters. Like, they're oversized, extra large, so comfy, so roomy, so warm. He's like, why am I wearing his sweater? This sweater is always in his closet. He never wears it. Because I want to keep it safe. It's a nice sweater. It, don't worry, it's safe I with me. I want to stay crisp. Okay, the clothes I'm wearing right now are so comfortable. You look comfy. I am so comfy. The, the, like everything just fits right and it feels good and that's what I like about these clothes. Well, that's all that matters. So these are my at-home clothes. And if anybody's visiting us, we just recommend the same. Come dressed to be comfy. You don't gotta impress, impress me with your comfy clothes. What are the most comfortable clothes you have that you'll actually wear out? <laughs> I'm wearing one. That, this sweater. Nah. Yes. That's, that's like off limits. Stop it. Yes, I am off limits. Don't no, catch. I don't. Why do you think I don't wear it? It's not that I don't like it. I want to keep it nice. Greg, you have a few sweaters in there that you it's really like don't shoes. wear. It's like shoes. You know how many shoes I have that I don't wear? I wear them on occasion because okay. I want to keep them nice. Okay. It's the same. Homeboy. Okay. I will keep your sweater crisp, nice and new. You won't, mm -hmm. e you won't even be able to tell that I had it on. I'll be so upset. <sighs> Stop it. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to do? I need to eat something. I am hungry. Greg's Let's do always that. hungry. All right, guys, let's let Greg get something to eat and then we're going to find out how we're going to spend the night. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so take a look at what Greg and I are having to eat. I'm not going to say this is dinner. We've had a few meals already for the day, but I guess this will be one of our last meals for the night. Any guesses what you guys think we're eating right now? Take a minute, drop a comment down below. Guys, have fun. Let us know what you think we're eating. All right, guys, take a look. Did anybody guess? Hot, Hot dogs. dogs. That's not food. <laughs> That's a weekend snack. Greg, where is your chicken and brown rice and salad? Get it in the fridge. The kids aren't here, so we're eating their food. We don't give them this on a regular basis. But on a weekend, for lunchtime, give them a hot dog. It's just something just super easy to make. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so in addition to having a little hot dog party. Hot dog party. <laughs> we're responding to comments. So thank you everybody who said they like Jasmine's hair <laughs> and gave us some tips. We're definitely going to be utilizing some of those tips you guys suggested, such as larger beads. I think it would be beneficial to make the braids just a little bit thicker because I don't think they have to be that thin. I know someone's like, make them smaller. I'm like, no, I can't. I can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. They're already like so fine at the end, like the last yeah it's like you just keep going and going and going and going imagine they were fine <laughs> no i can't 
Uh, yeah, I think they can be a little thicker. Her hair is thinner than Janie's is. Yeah, so next time around, we're gonna make Jasmine's hair a little bit thicker. And then I'll put larger beads at the end. So she can probably do a little bit more beads do at like the end. Do like a specific color pattern this time. Yeah. Some recommended Valentine's Day colors. I think, yeah. I think that's so cute. We're definitely gonna do that, especially for the month of February, for Valentine's Day. That's awesome. Yeah, guys, so we get so many comments. It's so hard to keep up, but we do read them all. So here I am, guys. Oh, you guys can't see that. Can you? Oh, maybe not. Anyways, <laughs> I am replying to comments right now. You guys are making me laugh, Your smile. Your die. Yeah. <laughs> My battery is gonna die, literally. So I'm trying to get to everyone I can before it does. Anyways, what are we doing for the night? I really don't know. So we do have a little bit of work we have to finish. So we should go do that. I wanna get that done tonight. I can't even watch a movie. So I'll just fall asleep. Guys, yeah. the minute we sit on the couch or like lay in bed and try to talk, we just like fall asleep. You more so. Yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> you got oh lots my of goodness. Sleep today, babe. I did. The kids aren't here. I'm living my life. <laughs> no, I'm just catching up on sleep. Alright, guys, so we're gonna do some work and maybe we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Yeah, we will. Alright, guys, we'll be right back. All right guys, I know we just said that we're gonna go down and do some work, but we have to remember we're home alone. No kids. So we decided to make chocolate chip cookies. Now we're not making it from scratch, so these only take like, what, 20 minutes tops? We're making these ones, guys, from Betty Crocker. Quick and easy. Quick and easy make. So Greg's just putting the ingredients together. Really interesting fact, guys. We were actually supposed to make this with the kids during Christmas. We've had this like in the cupboard for over a month. And I'm just like, let's just make it and let's just eat them because we can do that, babe. No kids, no one's gonna get burnt. <laughs> no, no one's, one's gonna, gonna be burnt. distracted trying to make this. It's just us, babe, just us. So guys, we're making some treats. You excited, babe? Um. Yeah, I've been actually craving like, chocolate chip. Go for those chocolate chip cookies for sure. <laughs> Do we have enough butter? Yeah, this is just we're just finishing that container, but nice, nice. So guys, I know some of you guys have kids. Can you guys let us know what you do when you don't have kids for the weekend? Guys, let us know. Drop a comment mm -hmm. down below. My mom is really the only one that takes the kids. And I don't want to put the kids on her too often. So it's like really rare when they go and sleep over. Like she'll say yes, but I don't want to like bombard my mom with all those kids and they're so young and they fight all the time and just, you know, they'll give a, a senior a headache. When she offers though, it's like we're not. Yeah, when she offers, it's fine. But the last time we had a few days to ourselves was Niagara Falls. So it's, it's been, been yeah, Niagara Falls has been what, 2020. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's crazy, time flies. I feel like that was just yesterday. And that was a fun trip. If you guys haven't seen that vlog, check it out. Anyways, chocolate chip, it's easy to make. I prefer making things from scratch, but these chocolate chip cookies are actually really good once they're done. You know what? I have what? never made, like successfully, chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Maybe you should try it out. I always make some little error and they're never as nice as I think they could be. Remember so yeah, I when I uh, try, was making I the try. cream cheese brownies, babe? Yep. And I made so many errors? Mm -hmm. Your turn. Well, I remember. Do you chocolate chip cookies from scratch? No, I've never made those from no, scratch. No, 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 I said, is that what you're saying I should do? He said, my turn. Oh yeah, for sure. But th that's actually easy to that's make. That's what I'm saying, but I've never done made like, oh, these cookies are so good. I've never done that with chocolate chip cookies from scratch. Okay. Even the ones the the kids would do an activity at school where you get a jar and you're making chocolate chip cookies in a jar just to add. And so all the dry ingredients are in a jar. Have you ever seen that? It's like a, yep. almost like an- Yep. I've seen that before. It? Just like a, a kid's activity and it's a sort of in layers in a jar. And they'll have like the recipe yeah, stuck to the really outside. Yeah, really cute. Sometimes so they give it to them for like summer or, or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. So even doing that, and all the dry ingredients are there, it's ready to go. It's still like too puffy or too dry, or it's just never 
comes out too right. hard. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just never perfect when you yeah. make it. Maybe I should try and make it with but you. But I would consider perfect anyway, you know? Yeah. Last time I was told I made them with too much flour. And that's when I started learning about how you have to lightly spoon the flour into a cup to, to get proper measure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that's where I messed up last time. Alright. You live and you learn. Yeah. So we actually have a movie on guys. We're not sitting and watching it, but it's just kind of playing in the background. I think it's on commercial now. What's it called, babe? Knocked Up. Knocked Up. Who's in it? Seth Rogen. What's her name? Catherine Hagel. Okay. Is that her name? I'm not good with actors and actresses' names, but you are. Hagel. Anyways. 40 Dresses. I remember watching this movie with you back in the day. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I enjoyed it. It's this movie. I'm going to show you guys. So that's on in the background. We're making some chocolate chip cookies. And then it's getting pretty late. I don't <laughs> think we're going to do much tonight. We might just, uh, like we said earlier, catch up on some work. And then we're going to go to bed because Greg does work in the morning. So, But I'm just super grateful that I get to sleep in. And when I wake up, there's no noise. And it's like, I haven't had that in a long time. So thank you so much, Mom. Like. We really appreciate you. All right, Greg's just mixing up the ingredients, guys. Guys, this recipe is so easy. It really just calls for butter, egg, and the mixture. And you're good. Put them all in like little balls, put them on the baking pan, bake for like, what, eight to 12 minutes, and then they're ready. Super quick, super easy. All right, guys, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so Greg's just Rolling the dough up into balls and placing them on the baking pan. He's the baker for tonight. Instruction follower. <laughs> no, this is like too easy of a mm. recipe. I don't know, the recipe you're just doing it out of the package. Well, yeah. All right, guys, I forgot to mention earlier with regards to Jasmine's hair, it lasted for the week. Oh yeah, it was good. It was a really good style. So we said that we'll just do a bit bigger next time around and we'll put like bigger beads in. But yeah, it lasted for the week. It got really frizzy on Friday. So like it was a PA day Friday, but it did its thing till Friday. So I'm really pleased with that style. It's just now who's going to do her hair on Sunday? Tomorrow's Sunday. So you're going to do it? I'm working tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> She's at Mimi's house when she comes home. No. I guess it's best for you while I'm working, eh? So I have sense. to do Danny's hair and Jasmine's hair? Yeah. Maybe it's two hours. Oh, that's nothing. Exactly. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me tired. I'm working seven tomorrow, babe. Seven hours? Yeah. Okay. So I might have to do Jazzy's hair. I don't know. Maybe I might just pick them up do their hair and bring them back. I, I have no idea what's gonna happen tomorrow, but the style does work, so we're going to mm -hmm. do it again. We'll see how often I do it. And I just wanted to let you guys know that it did hold for the, the week. So thank you all. A few moments later. All right guys, cookies are ready to go into the oven. Yep. First batch. So you guys, you put a lot of paper on there. Oh, did I? You're <laughs> That's a little extra, but. Alright, let's say Google. Hey Google. Start timer for 10 minutes. Alright, 10 minutes. And that's starting now. Hey Google. Start second timer for 5 minutes. Second timer for 5 minutes. Starting now. Okay. At 5 minutes, I'm just gonna. Switch it? Yeah. Okay. 11 minutes later. All right, guys, the first batch is ready to come out. Let's see how Greg did. Ah. Let them cool. For a second. Yep. See how they go. <laughs> yeah. Next. Totally fine. Okay. He's putting in the second batch now. Hey. I feel like the second batch got more of the chocolate chips. That's okay. Sometimes I just like the cookie without the chips in it anyway. 
We'll see how it turns out. Yeah. Um, okay, guys. If you have a recommendation for something I should bake with the kids, this is referring back to the cheesecake brownie episode. Do you remember what it was called? <laughs> Do you know what it was called? Oh my gosh. Mommy made a mistake again. Sorry guys, making mistakes. Yeah, anyway. You know what, we'll just post it at the end, right? So if yeah. you stick around right to the end, we'll put it on the watch next, the episode with the cheesecake brownies. Yeah. It was suggested that I try and bake something with the kids, just like Chantel was baking with the kids. Just I was more behind the camera in that one. So now- Wheel reverse rolls. Yep. I'll be the one directing the kids safely and doing accurate measurements. Okay, with we'll ingredients see. <laughs> and making something awesome. Yeah, so you want them to give you some suggestions. Yes. Give us some for... suggestions. Yeah. What do you think I should try baking with the kids? All right, you guys know what to do. Drop a comment down below. All right. Oh, I also want to point out. Yep. Oh my goodness, what are you getting now? What's that? Another one? Well, you had said we had the package in the cupboard for the kids since before Christmas. Yeah. That's still there. Like, there's still a second one for them. I didn't okay. take that away from them. So we can still... Bake with bake, them. Yeah. This, is so, this is so much easier to bake with them than the cream cheese brownie. Right. That's like, it's like something they can do on their own. Yeah. Like, literally just step back and watch them through it. Yeah, we should do that. They'd love to do that. Great idea, Dad. You gonna try a cookie? Now they gotta cool off a few minutes. All right, well, let's let them cool. You know what we didn't do? What? Let's start the timer. Start the timer. How long has been rolling for? Three minutes. Hey, Google, start timer for seven minutes. You see, he still <laughs> messed that up. It's not messed up yet, seven is it? Minutes. Starting now. See? Watch, they're gonna come out burnt. They're Something's perfect. going to be wrong with them. I'm gonna spin them in two minutes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 11 minutes later. All right, guys. Second batch is supposed to come out. I estimated 10 minutes because I forgot to set the timer, remember? Mm-hmm. 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 So they could use another minute or so. Uh, I'm gonna be pushing it. I'm just gonna keep close. I would just take them out and let them cool because every time you do that, the bottom gets burnt. Just saying. All right, if they're running, it's on you. No. Chantel said no, take no, them no, out. No, 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 it's not gonna be on me. You should have set the timer. All right, let those cool. Okay, that's it. And see how they taste. You want to cool off? These ones could use a little bit longer, I think. To cool? Yeah. They look good. You want to try one? Not right now. You? Go ahead. Come on, Greg. Gosh, they're out of the box. You know they taste mm. fine. Oh, they totally taste good. They're delicious. There you go. Well done. I'll have some in a bit. All right, guys. So I'm just feeling a little full after those two hot dogs. And I had some root beer. It's soft. No, it's not soft. I just feel full. So I'm just going to take mm -hmm. a little piece. It's warm still, which is good. I like that. These are good. Now, if it were me, I'd make the dough a little, maybe a little thinner. It seems like really thick. What do you want me to do? Follow the directions. All right. You do a good job. Mm-hmm. You did. Yeah, but it was you. You'd make the dough a little thinner. Yeah, I wouldn't make the ball as big. Like a smaller ball? Mm-hmm. I think you did well, babe. <laughs> Thank you. A little later. Are you doing work? Say what? Are you doing work? If I'm doing work? Mm-hmm. What do you want, Greg? What type of work? You said you're coming down to do work. Yeah, I am. Okay. What do you need from me, honey? <laughs> Sneaking up on me like that. I'm gonna come join you, babe. All right. Love you. Love you. 